in this calculus video we are going to learn in a step-by-step -step method on how to differentiate some basic functions from first principles the derivative of trigonometric functions from first principles is treated in a separate video to be able to apply derivative from first principles the function under consideration must exist and the generated answer must be found on a number line if the value of x is replaced with a number let's consider this question differentiate this function from first principles in this question if you differentiate directly from the first principles step number one replace f of x with y that is instead of this f of x i now have y next step number two add increment to y that is if here is x and here is y then this increment here will now become y plus change in y if we didn't change f of x to y then this could have been this because of this increment hence i will add increment to y next step number three add increment to x that is wherever i see x i'm going to add increment to the x that is if here is y and here is x i'm going to add increment to the x and i'm going to have x plus change in x at times this change in x can be replaced with h on the x axis on the y axis this change in x will equally be h hence i'm going to have x plus change in x wherever i see x next step number four expand the bracket if you open up the bracket this is squared hence they are going to be two if you expand this bracket you are going to get this and if you expand this bracket you are going to get this next step number five we're going to make change in y the subject that is i will leave change in y on this side and i'm going to move y over to the other side of the equal sign and become minus y now we have made change in y the subject next step number six we're going to replace the value of y from the given question from the given question hence instead of y i'm going to write x squared plus 2x next respecting this negative expand this bracket with this expansion plus x squared will take away minus x squared and plus 2x will take away minus 2x now you are left with this next step number seven divide both sides with that is i will divide here with changing x and they will equally divide all this side with changing x instead of writing it this way we can write it like this both are the same next this can take away this this can take away this and one change in x we take away just one change in x now you are left with this next take the limit of both sides as change in x tends to zero that is 
instead of this large increment which exists at two points every point along this curve got different slope if we choose a point we're going to start reducing this triangle and we're going to limit it so small so that it will come very close to the point that limit will tend to zero but will never be equal to zero and on this condition the limit of your change in y over change in x becomes your dy dx which is the slope at this point and not the big change in y over change in x which is at two points hence everything on this side will become dy over dx and wherever we see change in x we are going to replace it with zero hence in step number nine take the limit of the function and here the left hand side is now dy dx and on the right hand side instead of changing x i'm going to replace it with zero and our final answer is 2x plus 2. this is our dy dx which we obtained from the first principles of derivatives always remember that changing x squared is not the same thing as changing x squared in bracket this is the same as this and this is the same as this next differentiate this function from first principles the first step is to replace f of x with y however from the question we already got y no f of x hence the next step is to add increment to both y and x on both sides that is i will add increment to y likewise wherever i see x i will equally add an increment next i'm going to make changing y the subject by taking the y across to the other side and here we're going to have minus y leaving changing y on this side alone next i'm going to go to the question and replace the value of y from the given question instead of y i'm going to have 4x squared minus 3x plus 5. hence instead of y i'm going to bring back the value of y from the given question next we're going to expand the brackets that is we're going to remove all these brackets from the function next because of this squared we got two of these which are this and this next minus 3 multiplied by x you're going to get minus 3x next minus 3 multiply change in x you're going to get minus 3 change in x and the plus 5 remainder changed this minus will multiply 4x squared and you're going to get minus 4x squared and this minus will multiply minus 3x and you're going to get plus 3x minus multiply by plus 5 and you're going to get minus 5 next if you distribute this bracket by expansion and add up whatever is in the middle we are going to get this and everything here remained unchanged next this four we open up the bracket and you're going to get this because four will multiply this and you get 4x squared 4 
will multiply 2x change in x and you're going to get 8x change in x and 4 will multiply change in x squared in bracket and you're going to get 4 change in x squared in bracket after expanding the bracket plus 4x squared will cancel out minus 4x squared and minus 3x will cancel out plus 3x and plus 5 will cancel out minus 5 and you are left with this next we're going to divide both sides with change in x next instead of having this change in x across all the function we can decide to distribute it under each variable because both are the same next this change in x we take this change in x this change in x will remove one change in x and this change in x will cancel this change in x and we are left with this next we're going to take the limit of both sides of this function as change in x tend to zero taking the limit of both sides everything here on the left hand side will become dy dx and here on the right hand side wherever i see change in x i'm going to replace it with zero after the limit on the left hand side we are left with dy dx and on the right hand side we are left with 8x and minus 3 which becomes our final answer let's differentiate this function from first principles step number one is to replace f of x with y however we already got y here hence we're going to move to step number two next add increment to both y and x on both sides that is on this side i'm going to add change in y and also here i'm going to add change in x next i'm going to make change in y the subject and i will take y across to the other side and on the other side y will become a minus next from the given question i'm going to replace the value of y from the question and instead of this y i'm going to replace it with this and this will now become this let's recap if i'm giving a divided by b minus c divided by d to solve to solve this is going to be d multiplied by a and you're going to have a d next is going to be b multiplied by c and you're going to have b c next at the denominator so it's going to be b multiplied by d and you're going to have b d we are going to assume this to be a everything here to be b this to be c and this to be d and we are going to apply this method to each solution hence this multiply by 5 and we are going to get this next this will multiply this and we are going to get this and remember this minus separating them next at the denominator this we multiply this and we are going to get this next expand the bracket that is 5 we multiply x and you are going to get 5x next 5 multiply minus 2 and you are going to get minus 10 next minus 5 multiply by x and you are going to get minus 5x next minus 5 multiply plus change in x and you're going to have minus 5 change in x next 
minus 5 multiply minus 2 and you're going to get plus 10 because minus multiply minus will give us a plus likewise at the denominator this x will multiply x and you're going to get x squared x will multiply change in x and you're going to get x change in x next x will multiply minus 2 and you're going to get minus 2x next minus 2 multiply by x and you're going to get minus 2x next minus 2 multiply change in x and you're going to get minus 2 change in x next minus 2 multiply minus 2 and you're going to get plus 4 with this distribution and expansion 5x will take away minus 5x and minus 10 will take away plus 10 and at the numerator we are now left with only minus 5 changing x and at the denominator minus 2x we add up to minus 2x and we're going to have minus 4x next divide both sides with changing x i'm going to divide this side with changing x likewise i'm going to divide everything here with changing x let's recap if i have a over b to divide c over d if i change this division sign to multiplication it's going to flip the d up and the c down which we have here i'm going to apply this to this function and remembering that here is over one next we're going to change this division to multiplication sign and it's going to flip one up and changing x down hence this can now take away this you can see that changing x is cancelled out on this side and we are now left with this next take the limit of both sides of the function as changing x tend to zero here i'm taking the limit of both sides as changing x tend to zero on the left hand side taking the limit of changing x over changing y we are going to have the y over the x and on the right hand side wherever i see changing x i'm going to replace it with zero and we now got this if we remove these zeros we are now going to have this using any method of quadratic equation to simplify this this becomes our dy dx and which is our final answer this is calculus in the next video we are going to consider product rule when and how to apply to ensure you get all the videos subscribe by hitting the red button i will see you in the next video